Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how variables can be used to store values and execute our code with specific data. Variables give us the ability to store information that we can use in our code. This information can be text or numbers and can be altered as our code progresses. Variables can be used to control different commands in our programs, such as which LED should turn on or how bright it should be. Before we start learning more advanced coding techniques, let's go over some broad rules we need to follow when naming variables in our code. Anytime we name something, we want to make sure that the name is descriptive. When someone reads a name in our code, they should be able to make an educated guess as to what it is used for. Our names cannot use any spaces. In JavaScript, we write all names using camel case, where the first letter is always lowercase and every following word starts with a capitalized letter. If you try to start a name with a number, the computer will respond with an error, so either move the number to another place or write it out using letters. And remember, names are case sensitive. Before you use a variable, you need to give it a name and assign it a value. When naming our variables, we need to be sure to follow our naming guidelines, so we would not want to use this name because it's not descriptive of the value it holds. To use a variable, the first thing we need to do is assign it. We do this by writing the keyword let and then the variable's name followed by an equal sign and the value we want to assign it. To use the variable, we plug its name wherever we want to use its value. In this case, we want the value of the brightness value variable, which is 100, to control the brightness of our middle LED. So we plug it into our command where we would normally write the number for brightness. It is very important to remember that we cannot use a variable unless we have previously defined it. Once we create a variable, we can change its value throughout our code as much as we'd like. Every time we give a variable a new value, we are overriding the value it had before. Each variable can only hold one value at a time. At the beginning of this code, we created a variable called brightness value and set its value to 100. When we use the variable in line 3, to set the brightness of the middle LED, it will have a brightness of 100. Note that we do not use the word let after creating the variable. After we've lit the LED, we are changing the value of the brightness value variable to 200 on line 4. So when we use this variable to set the brightness of another LED on line 5, it will now have a brightness of 200. On line 6, we are using an equation to change the value of our variable. We are taking the previous value of the variable, which was 200, and dividing it by 4. So our variable now has a value of 50. When we use our variable for the last time on line 7, the final LED we light will have a brightness of 50. When we run this code, our output will be 3 LEDs on with brightness values of 200, 100, and 50. In this lesson, we learned how to assign and use variables. Refer to the example to help you use variables to write some microbit programs of your own.